I'm Dragon Hill. I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Hammer Time, Hammer Tutorials. And today we will be recreating a rock column made out of displacements. As you see here in the viewport, we have a uh, rock column that's slightly angled, and it's flat on the bottom and flat on the top. This is what we're going to uh, end up creating before this tutorial is ended. So let's go to the center of the map. And I want everyone to uh, set their uh, their grid size 16. I love the way Steam gets in the way with their with their uh, chatter. Anyway, so we're set at 64. I'm going to go over to my texture browser, set my filter to rock, and then I'm selecting nature slash rock wall 001. The reason is that it tiles up, down, left, right very nicely, um, and we're going to need that. Now I have that selected. I'm going over to the block tool, selecting that, and then go on my grid overhead and actually create a 64 by 64 by 64 block. Hit enter. Um, something I want to do ahead of time before I go any further, and then I use the texture tool, and then select each side and hit the fit. Um, this makes certain that each side is uh, uh, aligned with each other, just in case. As we uh, work with this column, these textures are going to be distorted a bit, and this might not make as much difference, but it's a good start. Um, now that we have that done, um, oh, by the way, for any of you who don't know, uh, when using the texture tool, a way of flipping a texture is to uh, just go over to the uh, texture scale and apply a negative number and in this case you can see we just flip the texture around so it um, it aligns with the previous no big deal okay now we go select the block we'll go to the side view hit shift then drag the left mouse button up and then create three more and now we have a Four segmented column, and this is uh, our uh, this is what we're going to be starting with. Um, what I want to do is now go to my grid setting, set my grid from 64 to 32. Um, now I can go to my vertex tool, and some of you may be uh, may prefer to use the slice tool, or sorry, the clipping tool sometimes referred to as slice, make the, making the block larger and then uh, cutting into it to create what I'm about to do right now. We'll take the uh, top vertices here in this top block and push them out, go to the other view, and what we've done now is we're creating a flare or flare out for our column. Uh, lock that in, go down to the bottom block and proceed to do the same operation. Go to the other view, once again, move the vertices out, creating that flare. Lock that in. Um, at this point, some of you might just want to proceed and continue making your column. Um, I personally, I like to add a little bit more, so I'm going to go to the center blocks and now go to from grid 32 to grid 16. Go back to my vertex, vertex tool, and now go to the inner section. We're creating a little more of a waist. That's all. So there's a little finer detail. It's uh, not 100% needed, but sometimes I get picky myself. Lock that in. Now go to the next block, vertex tool, and again, move in that waist. Sometimes the vertex tool can be a little bit of a bear. It's okay keep working with it um, and now lock that in um, at this point what I want to do is I want to select all these blocks and I'm going to um, shift drag a copy of this off to the side okay um, that's for a little trick I'm going to show you after we're done with this so now what I want to do is go to the um, toggle uh, texture application tool and now select each side. Do not select the blocks ahead of time. Select each face individually right now. 
if you try to cheat and select all the blocks first and then go to the texture application tool and then try to create displacements you'll uh, create sides in, inside the column we don't want that and that's going to screw things up when we want to um, do some other uh, functions so now I've selected all the um, faces I have not selected the top or the bottom that's key here and inside I, I have not selected those either make certain that they are not selected okay now we're gonna go to displacements we're gonna hit create and it's gonna default to a power of three select power of two um, we're gonna be adding more sides to it in just a moment now that we have the displacements created it's still blocky we're gonna use the subdivide command this is going to smooth it out a bit there we go now the column is nice and smooth it doesn't look blocky but it looks too man-made uh, this almost looks like it could be a, a column in, a, in an ancient Roman building maybe so we're gonna add noise uh, select noise and in displacement noise we have a minimum maximum value um, what's going to what the uh, program is going to do is go to each vertice and randomly move it between the numbers we specify so if I say 10 and 20 it will move each point either 10 11 12 13 14 all the way up to 20 if I specify a negative number it will then also go backwards so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to specify a negative 4 and a maximum 12 and what this does is we now have a range of 16 units that the vertices can go back and forth so hit OK and there we have a little bit of noise um, I always always like after every time I perform these functions I like to hit so just in case uh, so takes adjacent dis or, uh, displacements and their adjacent displacements and makes certain that the vertices uh, match up um, it doesn't always work but in this case I, it's a habit I like to do now you take a look at our column and you can see it's starting to look a lot like our column over here that we ended up with um, but um, it's straight so to make an angled column I'm going to turn around and select all the pieces and go into a side view and then click on it twice with the left mouse key once that's rotation mode and then twice um, I think skew uh, there's a, there's several terms I call it distort because it's going to distort this thing and just grab the uh, top handle and just move it and now you'll see we have an angled column let's go back take a look just this. there and there we have it. we have an angled column um, another thing that you can do especially if you're uh, making a large cave area is that you can now take this um, we didn't want the uh, the outer room selected and now I can shift drag this to make a copy and then I can uh, right click on it go to transform and I'm going to rotate it in the Z or Z axis as some people call it negative 180 degrees and voila what we have now is a pseudo rock arch um you can do uh, uh, you know further work to try uh, smoothing out the top so it doesn't look so peaked but in general if someone's running down here in a cave area they're not going to really notice that that too much now you're wondering okay what was that trick that I was talking about okay well something else we can do before we create the displacement uh, because what I'm about to do if you try doing this after you've created the displacement bad things could happen so I'm gonna select this now and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply that trick we just did to the rock column before we do the displacement so click on it two times and now I have moved the uh, center over select the other uh, the one below it click on it twice and then move it two over and take a look and see now I've created a little crooked notch into the column so now let's continue on and uh, create uh, the displacements for this select the outer sides of the column 
just the outer sides. We don't want any other part. And now, let's go to displacement. Once again, hit create, power of two, then go into subdivide. Aha, hit no, so just, oh, then we hit noise. We'll go with, again, negative four. We'll go with a positive 12, hit OK, and then hit so. And now, what do we have is, we have what appears to be a crooked rock column. Yes, yeah, so and that looks even more natural. Something you might want to put in your cave. So there we have it. We have um, an arch, and we have a crooked rock column made out of a straight rock column. I'd like to thank you for joining me here in Dragon Hill's Hammer Time Hammer Tutorials. Until next time, bye-bye.